So if that's prompting growth scares that's rippling throughout the rest of global markets, does that mean we've seen the cycle high in the 10-year yield? Uh, thanks, Danny. I, I don't think we have seen the cycle high in the 10-year yield. I think I think it will ultimately continue to move higher. We we still at Morgan Stanley forecast that 10-year yield will, um, you know, hit um, you know 1.8% by by the end of this year. So I, I think there is still room for it to move higher. Um, it's it's simply that I think the catalysts for that are are on better or worse, kind of lay later in the year. I think that's when the labor market data could finally look a lot cleaner. Um, you have. Uh, school back in session in the U.S. in September, summer's over, some of the um, the debate around the unemployment assistance, extra unemployment assistance should be resolved by then. Um, the Fed, we think, will we'll start talking about tapering in September. So we think there are some catalysts there and I think confirmation that this is just a, a pause in the growth data, a pause in the China growth data, not something more serious. I think all of that will come through. It's just going to take a little bit longer to come through. And so we don't think we've seen the cycle highs in the 10 year. We think that ultimately, you know, there is more room to go in this cycle, but the catalysts for that, unfortunately, or fortunately don't lay for uh, another uh, another month or so. But uh, Andrew, where does the 10 year yield actually find a floor? Is it right now moving on on technical? Yeah. Uh, so look, I mean, I think we are moving on some some technical factors. I think the markets focus on it and you know, maybe tells us something about where positioning is that uh, investors were not expecting yields to fall, which is you know why I think this move has um, been been so surprising. We, we were not expecting yields to, to fall in the way that they have. Um, now, we are now through a you know, minus 100 basis points in real yields. That seems, that seems quite low. Um, so it's, it's hard to pinpoint specific factors here. But I, I do think that, you know, we've I think we've seen the bulk of this of this rally. Uh, I think markets also may settle down for a bit of um, a choppy, more sideways move over the summer as you have these competing forces of summer seasonality is good for bonds. The carry is still positive for bonds. You don't have you still have COVID uncertainty over the next couple of months. But, you know, in September, the potential of these catalysts that could take yields higher are coming. 